Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Now, moving on, I go back to this issue of... Um, of, of, of JJ, you know, starting from what my friend was telling me that, you know, they will be very quick to bring you uh, into Zambia and uh, <laughs> and put you in my inner circle. Uh, so the issue of JJ is very clear. I read that it is so straightforward. It is so straightforward how everything happened and how Avena Levi and Goma, they are coming in. They wanted information because they... According to them, you know, SECL has put them under pressure. Whilst you foolish uh, press singers, you can't see it. You can't see that your government is going everywhere and about. Your government are, are becoming like headless chickens. ECL has hit them like a tsunami. It has hit them like a tsunami. HH can't even talk. HH can't even make a good... Uh, <laughs> A good, a good, um, a good intrankan, a good, good advert, eh? Much more than I can. Eh? I got a look at a church. What about I was looking at this car, this car video, which I, I, I will, I, I will take my time to listen to. To listen to, I will take my time to listen to, to it because, uh, you know, when I to Look, look, look. I will respond to this one, but Mumana for Bale Monica, I'm there. But we just had a meeting. Me advocate, you are a To secure solutions. Mona for the Towards resolving the energy crisis. Huh? Which, when resolved. Never for Varela and Daphne from Dara now, one I can. Look at him. This is an advocate, huh? Look. Look. Huh? Money from Dara for Varela and Daphne. Eh? Now, nah, Fivi, perfect. You are pressing and look at your president. Look, just look how how damp he is. Eh? Look. Now he cover. Eh? But I'm not going to now. What to do? La la. What watch? What watch? Woma, you know. What watch? Woma, but I will talk about the content. Game. You P N D. See reality for what it is. See reality for what it is. And they are so desperate. They are so desperate. That's why they are getting people like JJ and torture him. Because they want to find out what is happening with he, with ECM. Lena, look. Back up, they were all over Copper Belt looking for ECL. All over Copper Belt looking for, for ECL. But, ah, hey, 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 ECO is not a factor. Are you sure? Are you sure? It's not a factor. Eh? Where, where are you staying? Eh? Like your president was saying. Eh? Where do they stay? Where do they come from? Even where you were pressing, where do you stay? Where do you come from? You can't see that your government is disoriented. Disoriented. Look at what is happening. What happened in the Copper Bell today? Eh? And Mulekonka Kunkafi, Mulekonka Kunkafi. 
All you want if you are hooked, I'm never conquer. You are following all of them. With due respect to, uh, to, to my Uka leaders, but really, some of these Uka leaders that you are following, I mean, even if you give, you, even if you open a, a stadium and say, they won't, they won't do much, really. <laughs> sorry to say, but sorry, I'm just giving you reality as it is. I'm not uh, trying to speak law of the Uka leaders, but this is just a fact. But you are following everyone, everyone. For what? Because ECL has put you under pressure. And you press singers, no matter what you what you what you want to, to do, you know, you want to console yourselves. The reality is there, it is written on the wall. ECL is unstoppable. Haka in the is gone. It is just a matter of time. Haka in the is gone. It's a matter of time. And of course, we would want to respect the law. We are a democratic country, so we need to respect the law. That's it. But I'm praying that also Haka in the we will follow that democracy. Because if you don't follow democracy, if you don't follow democracy, you are also bringing it on you. This is the, this is the message of Haka in the You are gone, and you know you are gone. But don't use dictatorial tendencies to sustain yourself in power. Mungu fuikisha kuna wina wakalamba. Me, it's not personal against you. It's not personal. Me, I'm a patriot. I love my country. And really, I am a democrat. But if you are the one who's going to start using dictatorial tendencies to sustain yourself in power, I, there is nobody else who's going to be sorry but yourself. There is nobody else who's going to be sorry but yourself. Because if you use that, those dictatorial tendencies, others will respond. People will respond. People will respond. And this is where even the concord comes in. This is where even the concord comes in. The concord, the concord, and you judges, you can't pretend that you are my judges and you don't listen to that. You listen, you judges. And I keep talking about Mumba Madila because you are the chief justice. I keep talking about Wamunarula. You are the president of the court. You too, together with those other Kada judges, like Avena Ian Maworoboro. You are here and you are you are you are useless. You are useless and you have you, you have no future. You have no future in in, in in the in the judiciary. You have no future because you are a cadre. You are a cadre. You are I will speak about you uh, to, 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 to the point of my death. Ian Maworobo, I will speak about you to the point of my death because you are a cadre who is not even professional by the fact that you went and got my documents of my divorce and threw them in public for political gains i will always talk about you for as long as you also behave the manner that you the way you are behaving yourself on the case Mama i will always talk about you you have no future. You have no future in our judiciary. You are a cadre. Together with those other cadres as well. But I won't speak about those that I don't know. I mean, I'm a fair man. I'm a fair man. But I know that there are cadres, judges that have been appointed. But you cadre judges, you cadre judges, this case of Ed Galung, this case of Ed Galung, we will not stop Ed Galung. It will not. I can assure you it will not stop Edgar Lungu. It will not. Edgar Lungu is gone. It will not. Those are the means that I'm talking about to say if you use those uh, illegal means, those undemocratic means to bar Edgar Lungu, you are not putting problems on Edgar Lungu. You are putting problems on yourselves. You are putting problems on yourselves. You are putting problems on the country. Let's abide by the democratic uh, 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 tenets. Let's abide by those. 
If you abandon them, if you are the first one to put aside the democratic practices, if you are the first one to do that, don't blame others if they use other means as well. And I'm saying this not as, you know, inciting or anything. I'm talking about this to protect my country. We all have to be responsible. We all have to be responsible. You have to start it. You have to start it. The Corn Court, I am assuring you, you mark my words, the Corn Court will not stop Ed Galungu. It will not stop the Ed Galungu. I know this case is sponsored by UPND. Don't be cheated at no a, a businessman and whatever, whatever. Who is that guy? Who is that guy? He doesn't even know how to uh, construct a sentence. Eh? He can't even construct a sentence. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even understand what is going on. He doesn't even understand. If you meet that guy and ask him, do you know what is going on? He, he doesn't. It is the UPND sponsoring this. It is the UPND sponsoring this. And you have taken it to court. But if you, you dare, you dare mess up this case, mess up this case, I'm telling you, you have yourselves to blame. You have yourselves to blame. I just sympathize with my fellow Zambians who may end up, you know, being hurt or lose their lives out of this nonsense. So be responsible, Mumba Marida, be responsible. This case is not a Mao Sampa case. This case is a very serious case. It's a very serious case. You can throw that country into turmoil. Be responsible. Be responsible. And it's not that I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm saying Ed Galungu is above the law. No, I'm not saying that. The issue is that this case has been adjudicated upon. It has been adjudicated upon. It has been adjudicated upon, not once, but I think four times. Four times. And it has always ruled in Ed Galungu's favor. So there is no way you are going to turn today a case that went through the constitutional court, which is a court of finality. The constitutional court is a court of finality. It is ended. That's it. Kwamana. And the evidence is the fact that Ed Galungu contested the last election. So you can't go back and, you know, undo I mean, what are you trying to tell us? You are, are you trying to tell us that now all the judgments which were passed because, uh, and they were not in favor of UPND, they must be revisited. It is now going to be justice according to the UPND. Basically, that's what you'll be telling us. If you go against what you have ruled in the past, you are basically telling us to say now it is justice according to the UPND. But that is not democracy. And I'm urging you to follow our democratic tenets. Where, where there is a dispute, we go to court. And there is finality to those cases. We can't keep on, you know, uh, 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 dealing with the, the issues, you know, depending on the government that is there. Where is the separation of powers? Where is the separation of powers? That's why we have separation of powers. It is so that... We, I mean, some of these things, you know, they are embedded in the law by the judgments that come out. So you can't continue, no, eh, eh, because now it is UPND. I mean, you go back. Eh? No, somebody saying uh, I, I, I miss his, uh, Sangwa. Sangwa has pronounced himself on this one. He has pronounced himself on this one. John Sangwa has pronounced himself on this one. He actually, he actually said it, that he didn't agree with Ed Galungu's position before. But since the court made a ruling, that's it. We all abide by it. That's what John Sangwa said. John Sangwa agreed to say no, he didn't agree to Ed Galungu contesting a, an election. But since the court made a ruling in a court of finality, that's it. There is nothing that we can do. That is the position of John Sang. I mean, those of you who have the video, please send it to me so that I can, I can repost it. But John Sang made that statement. 
And uh, I watched it on uh, Ken Dumbo's uh, uh, platform. I watched it on Ken, Ken Dumbo's platform. Johnson was made himself. Once the court has made a, a ruling, that's it. It's the same with the case of JJ. You can't come back now to say, no, we didn't charge him with this. We didn't charge No. When that incident happened, you were supposed to charge him with all the cases. If you left out some cases, that's it. You can't come back now and open the case to say, no, 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 we forgot to charge him for assault. We forgot to charge him for aggravated robbery. We forgot to charge him for um, attempted murder. No. The facts are the same. The incidence is the same. The incidence is the same. That is the issue. You know what to understand? You charge a person on that incidence, on that crime scene, you charge all the offenses. You don't leave out some and come back and say, no, 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 we forgot to charge about this one. No. We forgot to... No, you can't. The incidence is the same. So you cannot go back to the same incidence and start bringing cases. It, it doesn't work out like that. If an incident happens, if your house is broken into, for example, your house is broken into, they steal, uh, they steal a TV, they steal a stove, they steal a fridge, and then they go. Then they go to court, and the, a, a trial charge, uh, starts, and uh, you know uh, that trial is finished, and these these kawalalas are convicted. Eh? for having had stolen a TV, a fridge, and a stove. You cannot come back later on when they are saving or when they are even out of prison and eight years later and say, no, 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 those thieves who came in my house, they actually stole my laptop as well. They also got my, uh, my, my, uh, my phone. You can't do that. So I want you to charge them again because they, 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 I left out the phone. And like somebody was also saying, to say, no, 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 no. They, were, uh, they also raped my wife. So you didn't charge them for raping my wife. No. They are supposed to be together. Charge them for the TV. Charge them for the stove. Charge them for everything, all the crimes that they did. After that case is adjudicated upon, that's it, Kwamana. Yes, the law provides that you, the court can review. The law provides that the court can review. But even this review, it should be in reasonable time. It should be in reasonable time. And usually, when you're talking about reasonable time, it's usually five years. It should be in reasonable time. It, is, it, is not, it shouldn't be because the government has changed. No. It shouldn't be because the government has changed. No. It shouldn't be because we, have, we now have uh, compromised judges. No. That's why now we even have a, a criminals, convicted people. You know, you are abusing, the UPND are abusing the court so much because they know they have compromised judges, because they have brought in cadre judges. Now everyone is going to court. Everyone is suing. Everyone is suing. People are just being arrested thrown because they know they have compromised judges. Even people, you as a convict, as a convict, you cannot sue anyone for defamation. You can't, you, a convict suing somebody for defamation. You have no character. You have no reputation to protect. Some of you, you have no reputation to protect. You have no reputation to protect. But I'm surprised during this government, even people, you know, acclaimed convicts, acclaimed convicts. He won't be a convict. He's going to court at no, have been defamed. Even when you are a convict, you have been defamed. When you say defamation, you are protecting a reputation. And when you are a convict, you cannot be a person of a, a, a repute. You have no reputation. So some of these cases, you are just taking them to court because you know that you have got compromised judges. But even those compromised judges, even Ian Mavorobor, he will not clean you. If you are a convict, you are a convict. 
If you are a convict, you are a convict. You cannot sue anyone. And especially some of us who are in public domain. You can't. You can't. Me, I'm going to sue. Who am I going to sue? Who am I going to sue? Eh? Who am I going to sue? Why am I going to sue? For what? <laughs> we don't. We don't forget it. You are in the public domain. And when you are in the public domain, people will say whatever they want about you. All you have to do is to come back and counter. That's why we are in the public domain. Our court is the public. Our court is the public. It's stupidity to go to court. To, when you are a public, whatever, to, to sue people. It's nonsense. And usually, people who go to court, it's because they are in, in government, because they have got connection, because they have got to portal. But otherwise, people who are in public, they don't need to go to court. Their court is the public. You say something ab about me, Hey, my dad is a rapist. I should be able. I've got. I'm a public person. I've got a platform to come and re refute it. I've got a public to come and refute it. Going to court as a public person for defamation is an admittance that you know you have you have been defeated because you are supposed to come back and counter. You don't run to court to for the court to protect you. The court is not there to protect public figures. Public figures are supposed to protect themselves by talking, by countering. Bring the evidence. Talk about it. Let people hear. Hey, no, they had you killed in Samansam. I killed in Samansam. You, 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 you made in Samansam to be killed. No. I don't have to sue anyone. I have to come here and tell you that it's not me. It's not me who caused that death. It is your president who was irresponsible. By bringing confusion when he was called to court. He's the one that you should be talking about. And I should respond. And I'm responding to that because you talk about it. That is how you will operate in public. In public domain. To come back in public and tell the people. That's how we operate. But they are going to court claiming defamation. In way, what, what reputation do you have? What reputation do you have? Eh? What reputation do you have? Oh, useless. Anyway, so this is, this is the issue. The issue that I'm talking about is that don't use the court. Don't dare use the courts in the Ed Galungu issue. You can play around it. Mickey Mouse, these two cases, it's okay, you can be taking each other, demanding 40 million, demanding 10 million, it's okay, keep doing that. But not this issue. This issue, uh, this issue, you know, you can't use the con court. You can't use the court to bar Edgar Lungu. Nafika Nika, you are trending on very dangerous grounds. Very, very dangerous. And I urge you, my brothers and sisters, I'm putting myself on record. I am putting myself on record. That don't dare bar Edgar Lungu using the concord. It will backfire on you because you would have gone out of democracy, democratic tenants. You would have gone out. And once you go out, training I have been a shupa. Don't take for granted the peace that we are enjoying in Zambia. Once it is removed, it is very difficult to restore peace. You are better off maintaining peace than allowing chaos. It is very difficult to come back to that peace. And in this instance, when there is a confusion like this one, when, when we have a president who has failed to perform, clearly pe failed to perform, you can't keep that president. Anything that happens, anything negative that happens, it goes against the president. Whatever nonsense that is going to be happening in the country, it is going against the Haka in the Ichiden. Those police officers that you are that you are unleashing. Ah, Nshani, when she let them put them on the phone, Nshani, ah, you know that she let them put them on the phone. I will block you. Ah, uh -uh. you know that I haven't started them on phone calls. Eh? So why are you calling? So don't 
don't go that route. Nami papata. Don't go the route and democratic route to sustain her kind of in power. Everything that you are doing, which is undemocratic, it is working against Haka in the That is what you have to know. You are politi you are political advisor. If you are if at all you are the you know brains of a political advisor, you would understand that when the president when the president is in situ and is not uh, uh, favored by the people due to circumstances, anything negative that happens in the country, it goes against that president. It goes against that president. So anything, you send all over, that is not helping Aka in the in the minds of the people, even, you know, our politics, that's why some of us, we are very convincing in politics. We are very <laughs> effective in politics. Because we don't talk to those who are already with us. No. If I don't talk to those who are already with I mean, they are already with me. I don't talk to convince you, those who have already convinced. No. I talk to convince those that I know they are not on my side. I am at 20 hours in Chita and Chita. It's not for those who are already on my side. No. It is for those that I know that these ones are not with me. And I respond to their doubts. That's what I do. I respond to their doubts. When I'm talking about Ed Galungu, I don't talk about Ed Galungu, the good things about Ed Galungu. No. You don't hear me talk about Ed Galungu. No. I, I talk about those doubts. I talk about the doubts that I know people may have about Edgar Mungu. And I want to convince them on that. I'm not interested in the UPND cadres, in the PF cadres. I'm not interested. Those are already this side. I am interested in the neutrals. Those who are neutral. Those who are doubtful. They don't know. Edgar Mungu, Bushe, Bushe. I'm talking about those you know, who are just like, they are not politicians. I'm not interested in press singers. Really. These are zombies. I'm not interested in you zombies. That's why I don't even argue with you. I don't argue with you. Zombies, I don't argue with you. You don't have your brains. I am interested in reasonable people. People with reason. People who can listen to me. People who can see what I'm talking about. Those are the people that I'm interested in. You can write as many comments, as many negative. Some people ask me, how do you handle these negative comments? I don't care about the negative comments. I don't care. I don't care about the negative comments. I don't care about the unreasonable people. The reasonable people don't even comment here. The reasonable people don't even comment here. They don't. They only listen. And they make a judgment. And those people... Those people, those people, they don't like it when they see, when they see Vakapokola dotted around. They don't like it. They don't like it. They don't like it when they see you are stopping Edgar Lungu from going wherever, wherever. They don't like it. They don't like it. Those ones, and I'm telling you, when they see that, when they see that, the favor goes to Edgar Lungu. The favor goes to Edgar Lungu. And that's why I tell you that the chief campaigners of the UPND, of, of Edgar Lungu, it's the UPND. It's the UPND. The chief campaigner number one is Haka Inde Ichirimu, who is every day talking about Edgar Lungu. Every day. He's a president. I'm telling you, he's a president. Whenever... You are a president and you talk about the other citizen. The citizen is an underdog. And the people have got a nature of, of, side, of, of siding with the underdog. Usually, people side with the underdog. Usually. They side with the underdog. Even in Mubola, even in Mubola, Mwabulati, eh, Zambia, Baletiana, Baranika, Nava, Nava, Nava German. I mean, people already know that. Ah, German is a powerful team. So, Ngawati Akoko Zambia. I want to call They feel good. 
they side with the, <laughs> the, 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 the vulnerable. People, sympath symp people sympathize with the underdog. That's what they do. And in this instance, Bahaka in the you are the president. Edgar Lungu is a former president. He is not there. So the moment you are talking about Edgar Lungu, Edgar Lungu, Edgar Lungu, people are just looking at you to say, what's the problem with this man? What's the problem with this man? This man, to Alimu Fumiapo, you. We voted him out. Why are you talking about him? People already sympathize with, Ed, with, the, with Edgar Lungu. And you might be wondering, how come Edgar Lungu is doing so well? It is because HH has made Edgar Lungu. He has made Edgar Lungu. Some of you, you say, hey, but recently you are talking about uh, Edgar Lungu, that Edgar Lungu cannot talk. Edgar Lungu cannot articulate issues. I, I still stand by that way. I still stand. Tell me, where did Edgar Lungu articulate issues? Uh -uh. Tell me, when did Edgar Lungu articulate issues? Tell me. Yes, because some of you are busy. Hey, you say, okay. Tell me, when did Edgar Lungu articulate issues? When? When? I still stand by it. I still stand by it. But you people, you, 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 you have met Edgar Lungu without him saying anything. Even if he had something to say. You have made him powerful. You have made him a force to reckon with. Because you don't allow him to talk. You don't allow him to talk. You don't allow Edgar Lungu to talk. You don't want to allow him to talk. So people are now sympathizing to say, ah, nish vale muka nish okulanda. Nish vale muka nisha. Why vale muka unka unka? That's what people are saying. That's what people are saying. And if you were political, uh, uh, politically intelligent, you would, you would realize these things. You missed me. You should have had me on your team. I would have helped you. Not this nonsense that you are doing. Now on them each takantu. Them each takantu. Mule papa, mule chumona. You think you are going to fix me? You won't. You won't because you won't even you won't even touch me. You won't even get me. Mube peref. Mube peref. Hey, inta po inta. Mube peref. Nde michita kantu. Mule shininkisha. Mule shininkisha. Mule ya. Ukuya kwena mule ya. Because you are not politically intelligent. You are not. Why? And on a Sunday, Zambia. Umu Zambia ni. A lot of Zambians respect God. They venerate God. They respect Sunday. You start sending wakapokula kuma churches. Kwe na muli fipuwa. Ala muli fipuwa. There is no any other way of describing it. Wupu wopu ine wini. You are sending wakapokula kuma churches imwe. Mule amukula shingulu kama churches. Mule amukula shingulu. But muli fipuwa imwe. <laughs> I've never seen. Oh, I've never seen. I've never seen. Who put a wash on you? How can you, Muzambia, Mwamba kutu mama, ama ama waka pokola kuma changes, kuma change Muzambia. Imwe, Muzambia, ukutu mama waka pokola kuma changes. Uku tuma waka pokola, muofisi ya kwa bishop. Uku tuma waka pokola, muofisi ya kwa bishop. Hey. Efo ndela ndilokova ti, at the end of the day, it is not about the giftedness of Edgar Lungu. It is not, it is not about what Edgar Lungu is saying. Edgar Lungu is not saying anything. He's not. He's talking here and there, you know, there is that statement which he, he produced yesterday. I'm going to post it. But there isn't much that we can talk about. Edgar Lungu does not talk, does not talk like Vasata. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't talk like Vasata. And they are totally different. Edgar Lungu has grace. And this is what you need to realize. The Edgar Lungu has grace. Nichi nimoban kosa mitwe. Yeah, you would understand that you grace. grace. Yes, you said that. Yes, I said it. But Edgar Lungu's grace. It doesn't matter what I say today. It won't change anything. 
It doesn't matter what HH says. It won't change anything. It doesn't matter what Mumbamalila says. It won't change anything. It doesn't matter what John Sangwa says. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't. It doesn't matter what Fred Member would say. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't matter whatever we are going to say. Uliyamu mtuna kwa tampa shuwa kwa lesa. Na kwa tampa shuwa kwa lesa. Na kwa tampa shuwa kwa lesa. And mpa shuwa kwa lesa nga waku ikida. Mpa shuwa kwa lesa nga waku fikila. Tapari ifinga chinja. Tetfi chinja. Efo mfiro kuishuwa. Eti kalungu na kwa tampa shuwa kwa lesa. Because nga filande mieva. Ukwe wat finish at the red kalungu. Mungu jebe ko tell me something that is that is so significant ever since he left the office at Galungu what has he done which you can say yeah he did this tell me one thing you tell me na la islama phone you tell me na mwisho cha lingo kwa watu walungu baba temwe ni chila chitile ba chitile munje beko yes me i'm going to admit it. whatever you can play those videos which i was saying negative things about lungu you can say them you can play them Start playing them by UPND. Look for those negative videos. Start playing them. Start playing them. And see if it is going to change anything. See if it is going to change anything. There is nothing that is going to change. Yes, I said Ed Galungu cannot articulate issues. It's true. It is true. Even today I say the same thing. Ed Galungu is not an orator like Sata. This is the fact. Uh -huh. He is not an orator like Sata. He's not. He's different. He's different. And what is the difference? The difference is that Mupashua Kualesa Ulina Lungu. Ulina Lungu. No matter what you will say, no matter what you will do, all these things that you are doing, you are just campaigning for Edgar Lungu. You are campaigning for Edgar Lungu. But there were a couple of Mule Tandanya. Mule Tandanya, Mwaba Tandani. Eh? Town yonze mwa watandani. You are spreading them all over. You are spreading all those police officers. Spreading them. When people see that, they don't hate Edgar Lungu. They like Edgar Lungu. If you say, ale mi furunganya, le sale mi furunganya. God is confusing you. God is confusing you to do wrong things every day because mpashua kwa le sa ulipali lungu. You are doing things which are obvious. These things I'm saying, they are not uh, rocket scientists. We all know. Even HH knows. Even HH benefited out of the victimization that he got from, UP, from PF. He benefited from it. He knows. But how come he's doing it? Because Lesa Namuikata. The very things that made him are the very things that he's doing. The very things that made people to hate PF are the very things that he's doing. Why? Mupashua kwale sanga ikila. Efuwa chita. Efuwa chita mupashua kwale sanga. Mupashua kwale sanga. Ala furunganya. Fila fina ole mwona chani chani. Efuwa amuku chita. Efuwa mule chita ne mwa UPND. Fila fina wawa pati lepo wa PF. Ele mwona mwona efu chita. Mwona efu chita na over. Mwune efi chitana over, abandu wa lipatileva akanda. Hey, hated kandas. Hey, kandas, na nama panga, nama panga. Ere, mwamu kukuna nama panga. Mwune ya wami ya napana mikane, napatala. Kwa, 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 kwa. Eh? Ukula pepeka chisha la kateka. Umuwa nakashi. Eh, mwamu kula mwune napa wama panga. Kwa, 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 kwa. And you think people will love you? Eh? You think people will like you? You think you think you are collecting political uh, uh, political capital or political profits for Aka, for Aka in the HLM when you behave like that? You think what you have done today in the Copper Belt, you think you are getting political mileage out of that? And you, I'm hearing this statement to say we are going to arrest Ed Kalungu. Na papa tamu ikateni. Mu ikateni Ed Kalungu mu ikateni. Na kukuna wina ushu kukabia nika mwikate ni mufuwa ye ni mwikate. Mufuwa ye ni eti kalungu mwikate. Mwikate ni mwe. Mwikate ni. Mwikate ni eti kalungu. Ndiye mieva. Mwikate ni ka mwikate ni eti kalungu. 
Arrest Edgar Lungo. Arrest him. Arrest him. Arrest him. And then we will see. We will see. Oh, <laughs> we will see. Arrest, arrest Edgar Lungo in the moment. Arrest Edgar Lungo. I'm one of those people who wanted Garungu to be arrested. I wanted Garungu to be arrested. We can't tell him that Garungu is not going to be arrested. We can't tell him that Garungu is not going to be arrested. We can't tell him that Garungu is not going to be arrested. We can't tell him that Garungu is not going to be arrested. We can't tell him that Garungu is not going to be arrested. Kamuikate ni digalungu alale kuma sales. Kamuikate ni digalungu alale kuma sales. Muikate ni. Eh? Efun de fwa. Inen de fwa muikate mu. Ah. Inen de fwa ya muikate digalungu. De fwa muikate. Efun de fwa. Baye chechi. Muikate ni digalungu. Eh? Eh? Muli balongwa na imwe. Eh? Muli balongwa. Muli balume imwe. Eh? Muli balume baye digalungu. Ah, muri ba umesa na imwe. Tuma fira ya digalungu. Ah, kumu ikata so. Mu ikate ni mamu dala. Kamu ikate ni. Kamu ikate ni mula nge chalo atu muri ba ume. Kamu ikate ni ba haka inja ichirema. Kamu ikate ni lungu. Imwe. Na papa ta kamu ikate ni lungu. Kamu ikate ni mula nge chalo atu muri ba ume. Hei mwemwe ba ume. Na kuisa ba ume no mba. Hei. Tonga bu. Hei chechi. Amu ye mumu jate Mumu jate Mumu jate Kamu ikate ni Kamu ikate ni Kamu ikate ni Tupange kwa news kairi I mean it's boring I mean we are tired of Kulanda pali waka pokola waka pokola Wewe peka edi galungu Mumu ikate ni kairi nomba Ito wale ni on another level kairi Eh Edi galungu We can ito wale ni on another level we are tired of these stories following Ed Galungu, following Ed Galungu, following Ed Galungu. Now take it to another level, another level. Mumu ikate nomba, pa! Hmm. Tukwate ko news. Ed Galungu arrested. Efo to refire. Headline. Ed Galungu arrested. All the news, shan, 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 all social media, all international media will be talking about it. Tumfu ikeko. Tumfu ikeko. Tumfui keko pange niko news ba HH. Ika tenyo mune ni mwika tenye di galungu. Mwika tenye. Let's see. Let's see if that will make you. Will give you. Will sustain you. In your power. Let's see if it is going to renew your political fortune. Let's see. Do that. Let me go, man. Do that. You have got power of police officers. There is General Yui there. He can do the job. General Yui. Ah, General Yui. Just give him command. General Yui, tonight, make sure arrested Galungu. Ah, General Yui is good. A lot of people are going to grind a lot later, you know, and a crime could be a lot to bring down the walls and get it Galungu. No problem. So just give the command. Give the command. Let's see. Let's see how that will span out. Some of these things. Te timulwe na mpashua kwa lesa. Uyuni mpashua kwa lesa umimine lungu. Ni mieva ime kwa vati. Njewe ni pofo ya diga lungu kwa chita. I'm talking about after from power. Kaini mwalimu from power. I won't talk about FWR chita when he was in power. No. Whatever he did, you removed him out of power. So, but well, how come now you want him back? What has he done? That's what I'm talking about. Show me what he has done. Let's talk about that. Nga tempa shuwa kwa lesa. Nga naisu na mafoni. Munje beku. Atao tempa shuwa kwa lesa. Eh, ni fine 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 fia lenga. It is, it is the grace of God. And when the grace of God is with you, nobody is going to stop anything. Nobody. And those of you who are thinking that you are going to fight this. You watch. You watch the space. Watch the space. This is unstoppable. And it, Ed Galungu is just calm. He's calm. And I actually agree with his calmness. Because, you know, we didn't know that Ed Galungu is in the Copa Belt. We didn't know. 
But now everybody in the Copper Belt knows Edgar Lungu was in the Copper Belt. Because I'm campaigning. I'm campaigning. You have campaigned for him. Did he say anything? No. He was in the Copper Belt. Did he say anything? Tell me what he said. Those people that you are following, Avena Kalaba, Vadani Pule, Vanan, what did they say? Okay, even if they attended church, what would they have said? Muteveko. <laughs> Imagine, okay, you allowed them. They were in church yesterday. What did they say? Nothing. But the news is all over. Because of your behavior. Because of your behavior. Ever pandemic pela my hints, then pela my hints. Even when I when I gravitated towards you, now then pela my hints. I was giving you good ideas, but because Ed Galumba has got grace, tamawa efe konge. Na mapa na phone dera nde tamawa kafi konge. Na mapa na phone dera nde tamawa kafi konge. And I don't even care because somebody will say, "Ah, you are giving them ideas." No, 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 no. These are confused in their own spiritual. A, 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 a entanglement. UPND is 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 confused in their own spiritual entanglements. They have got their own God who they worship, and that God who they worship has brought confusion among them. Now they will not listen. We told them, buddy, je, 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 this story, you, it is messing you up. They don't listen even now. You can say whatever you want about JJ, but they won't listen. They will continue still doing stupid things. Even on Edgar Lungu, they will continue doing stupid things. They will continue until they go. Until they go. But I'm just praying that they will go democratically. That is my prayer. They will let them go uh, democratically. And you know, we are talking about the constitutional court. Some of you might think to say, no, no, if they buy Edgar Lungu, then what HH will survive? First, let me tell you. If by any chance, if by any chance, you manage to bar Edgar Lung, which is not possible, owing to where we are coming from, and the tension that that might bring in the country. But let's just imagine, let's just imagine, you know, let's just imagine you manage to... Um, to bar Edgar Lungu using the corn court illegally because of the cadres that are there. Okay, you manage to do that. First of all, do you think that the people of Zambia are that stupid to buy that kind of judgment, to buy that kind of nonsense? Do you think they will do that? They definitely won't. Definitely they will not. A few of you who are contaminated, who have got their spiritual battles, you will look at it to say, no, it is okay. But it will not. And okay, fine. Indeed, yes, your bad dead Galungu is not on the ballot. It only needs one word, Ed Galungu. He doesn't even have to say one word. If he wants, he can just do this. If 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 at if if chapwa and it doesn't matter whether we want to live it doesn't matter. Zambians will go for that person. Zambians will go for that person. And in my view, especially if this person has got some political clout, he will actually he will actually spiral the goodwill in the Zambian people. He will have more votes than Edgar Lungu if that happens. Because this person will be coming with his political fortune. Edgar Lungu will be bringing in his goodwill that he's enjoying already. Then he will bring in the sympathy. Because people will be very sympathetic. People will be very upset that Edgar Lungu has been bad in this way. So even those will come in, especially those, the neutrals, the neutrals will be like, what nonsense is this? No, 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 this is unacceptable. And they'll be looking for somebody to vote for, not a church. They will definitely go for this person. They will definitely go for this person. Then there will be those that will be upset 
This is nonsense. We can't go on. No, 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 no. They will go for that person. Then this person will come with his political fortunes. That's it. This person will, can win over 90%. 90%. Because Edgar Galungu at the moment is standing on 70%, if you must know. Edgar Galungu is standing on 70% of the votes if we were to go for elections. Let's go for elections. Because this time around, not even Southern Province will give HH those, uh, those results. Yes, of course, unless you'll be doing the rigging. When you do the rigging, because you know the rigging very well. And I know that ECZ is working very hard to do the rigging. But really, Southern Province will not give Haka in the those, those numbers. The 90 chakuti percent, no, he will not. So, Ed Galungu is standing on 70%. But if another person comes in, we are going to 90%. Because of the sympathy, because of the annoyance, because of the political fortune that this person will come, will come with. So, you, so, it is not saving you. You'll be making a bigger mistake. A bigger mistake to do that. But then again, there is another thing. Why I don't want this scenario, by the way, I said I'm going to explain. Why I don't want this scenario? For me, why I don't want this a scenario where Edgar Lungu would have to choose who will run. Not that I don't, not that I, 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 I've got fear or anything. I know anyone that Edgar Lungu will choose, he will, even if he went and got Cosmo Mumba, for that matter. Even if you went and got Cosmo Mumbo, eh? I, I've just missed Cosmo Mumbo. That's why, I, I mean, I've not mentioned Cosmo Mumbo for a long time. So that's why I'm picking up on him. Even if you picked Cosmo Mumbo or anyone that he picks, that person will win. But why I don't want this situation is that I, I, am, I want all of us, the opposition, to be together this time. I want all of us, the opposition, to be together. And this is my appeal to all the opposition leader. And I keep mentioning some of these, uh, some of these leaders because I love them so much, and I want them to be part of this this Uka group. I mean, what we have is Uka at the moment, so I can't talk about anything else. What we have is Uka. So this is why I'm saying I want all of us to come on the Uka table. I want our friend member to come on the Uka table. And Bakala Mbabandi, hear me out. It is not about Ed Galungu. It is about us being together. Being together. I want a, my, my elder brother, KBF, to be part of the Uka table. Uka table. I want Shalakateka to be part of the Uka table. I want Sean Temo to be part of the Uka table. I want to avoid all of us, the opposition. I want us to be together. And this is why I am saying we have no any other option but Ed Galungu. Any other option but Ed Galungu. Because it's only Ed Galungu that can unite us. It's only Ed Galungu that can unite us. Anybody else we might be split, and I don't want that. Because the moment Ed Kalungu will appoint this one, I will feel to say, but why has he left me? Why didn't he pick me? I mean, I used to work so hard. Eh? I even went in exile. I, whatever, whatever, whatever. Why hasn't he picked me? We are human. We are human. We are human. That meant coming. But if it is Ed Kalungu himself, this issue will not come in. This issue will not come in. If it is Edgar Lungu himself, we won't have the issue of saying, uh, but why didn't he pick me? I may not say, okay, why didn't he pick me? I would say, but why didn't he pick my Mundubide? Because, I mean, for me, Mundubide is one of those great people, I mean, that I would go for. Why didn't he pick Mundubide? Or I would say, but why didn't he pick Given Lubinde? Given Lubinda, after all, Given Lubinda has been vice president, he has sustained PF, he has gone through a lot. Given Lubinda has gone through a lot. Why didn't he pick Given Lubinda? That's what I would be saying. And then 
As somebody who said, but why hasn't she picked Sakuiba Scott? Sakuiba Scott is clean. Sakuiba Scott is untainted. Sakuiba Scott is, 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 a, is a great man. He's very intelligent. Another person will say, but why not Kalaba? Why hasn't he picked Kalaba? Kalaba is a brilliant man. You know, a young man with a very sharp mind and whatever, whatever. Why didn't he pick? Somebody will say, but no, why didn't he pick a woman? Why not Shalakateka? Because Shalakateka, blah, 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 and so on and so forth. Ah, why not Savoy Imbole? Eh? Ah, why not Jack Slam? He's a young man and blah, blah, and blah, blah, and blah, you know. Ah, why not Sean Tembo? So, I don't want this situation. I don't want this situation because it will divide us. We need this unity. We all agree that some of the problems that we are facing, number one, emanates from our constitution and the lacunas and loopholes that the constitution gives to those who are in power. That's why some of these things are happening. Because of the situation that we have with our constitution, we have lacunas, we have loopholes, we have uh, unprecedented situations. Our constitution is prone to manipulation. And we all agree with this one. I don't think there is anyone, any politician who doesn't agree. Only Haka in the HDMI because it is working in his favor. That's why they are not uh, going uh, into a constitutional review. Because it is working in, in his favor. But all of us who are outside will agree that the constitution needs to be worked on. And we can only, we can only sort out the constitution if all of us are sitting on the same table. If all of us agree and united by somebody who is experienced, somebody who we will give respect as a senior, all of us, all of us, all the other leaders, we have never been presidents. So Ed Galungu being there, we are going to respect him. We are going to respect him. And I'm very sure Ed Galungu will allow us to work on the constitution. Once we work on the constitution, then we can have a level playing field. Then we can compete better. We can compete better. So that is why I am saying there is not any other option but Edgar Lungu. And any progressive politician should be able to see this point. If we are going to be selfish to say, no, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Ah. It will not help us. It will not help us. And it might even derail our chances of, you know, leading the country. Unless we work on the constitution, some of us will not even come close. Because whoever will be there will be arresting us, sending us into exile. So we need to sort out this issue of the constitution. So, Ed, so Ed Galum, and again, this is another favor from God. Ed Galungu is the only one who possesses that, that statesmanship, who possesses that seniorship. It's only Ed Galungu. And for the goodness sake is that, the other thing is that, he's the only one who will not have to drag his stay in power. Like what Aka in the HDMI wants to do. Waka in the HDMI wants to drag he wants to stay there longer. He's not even looking at 2031. He's looking for longer. But Ed Galung, we should be agreed, clearly. He's going to be a one-term president. He has done his term. He's going to do one term, sort out the constitution, and leave. So Ed Galung really things favors, um, things favors him, you know. But I know the desperation of the UPND. They are doing everything, you know, to stop Edgar Lungu. But you can't fight grace. Not even killing Edgar Lungu will help you. Not even eliminating Edgar Lungu. Because out of your desperation, owing to looking at what you did to JJ, looking at what you did to me, because, I mean, somebody yesterday, uh, the other day was telling me to say, but you speak about your situation so lightly. My situations are not light. I'm not light. Though I take things easy. I take things I'm not, you know, 
uh, that sensation about some of these issues. But those soldiers at my house, that was an assassination attempt. That was an assassination attempt. That is a desperation of the UPND. The, the many times that they have taken me uh, in Lukulu, that is, that is a desperation. The many times that they have come and broken into my house and taken me to places where nobody knows, that is a desperation situation. And this is what happened to, to, to JJ. This is what happened to a, a, a preacher who talks about his, uh, his prophecies. Eh? He who talks about his prophecies, whether they are true or not. He is preaching and he talks about this prophecy. You go and abduct this man. Torture him. What are you doing, my man? The man is doing the work of God. He's a man of God. You may not believe him. But there are people that believe him. There are people that follow him. Why go and arrest that, uh, take pick that, that, that pastor and torture him? You are so desperate. You are desperate to that point of going to pick a man of God and torture him. A man of God. You torture him. You may not agree with him. Because you have your own gods. But you go and pick him and torture him. And this is what Hakan HM was talking about press conference. No change, no what, no what. I keep talking about my Catholic clergy. Unite, be united. Be united because I know that some of you are still, you know, trying to lean to this government. I'm telling you, this man is attacking. Is attacking our church. Haka Inde Ichilema is attacking the Catholic Church. This is no doubt Haka Inde Ichilema is attacking the Catholic Church. If you can't see the disrespect which happened in Kabul, if you can't see that disrespect, going into the office of the bishop, if you can't see that, then where is our professional faith? Because we Catholics are supposed to defend our church. We are supposed to defend our church. Our church is apostolic. Our church is apostolic, meaning it's coming from the Pope. We have the leadership. Our church is Catholic, meaning it is solid. It is solid. It is, it is, it is protected by the Holy Spirit. We're supposed to protect it. That's why we profess every Sunday. I believe in the Holy Catholic. I believe in the Holy Catholic. When the preachers are preaching, they are preaching the Holy Spirit. They are preaching in the name of the church for the church. We are holy. The church is holy. The church is holy. Why are you allowing this, this Jezebel, this bar? To come and tell us how we should preach. Because that's what you're doing. You're allowing Ba. You want Ba to come and tell us how our, how our fathers should start preaching. They want us to abandon our responsibility to social justice. They want us to abandon that. They don't want us to touch, you know, the social justice. They want to tell us what we should be saying. And some of you, and shamefully so, some of you are even... You know, priests, some of you are even bishops. You are seemingly entertaining this. The church is under attack and you are seemingly entertaining this. When are you going to stand and defend the, our church in Zambia? When are you going to stand and defend our church? No, because it happened to that priest. No, because it happened to that priest. The following day, this guy comes, you are putting a red carpet for what? Why are you putting a red carpet for Haka in the HMA? Who is not respecting your church? A priest shares in the ordination of all the clergy, including the bishops. So a, a priest, even if a priest is wrong, the first thing is that you need to respect his ordination. He's human, of course. It doesn't mean that he is infallible. 
He's human. He can make mistakes. But by the fact that he shares in the ordination, in the sacrament of ordination, which other priests and the bishops share in, is a brother who should be protected. But you are, too, you are taking a casual approach towards this, these matters. Until it happens to you. Until it happens to you. I keep saying that dictators, Baba Kwat Malomba, Baba Kwat Malomba, Bali Oyu, Taba Ikute, Mairo Futi Wakari Wakafuwa Yowakuli. And you never know, no Shali Mwakabamu. No Shali Mwakabamu. Some people have lost jobs here. Some people have lost jobs. Iyona Nikane, Achan, what is this? Mount choice. No Shali Mwakabamu. You are losing jobs. Because of the bad governance of the UPND, no shall Mwakabamu. Some of you civil servants, you have lost jobs. You are on suspension. No shall Mwakabamu. Kumai Nyuko, Mule Chula, no shall Mwakabamu. So these people are very desperate. They are very desperate. And we need to stop it. We need to stop it. And they, yes, indeed, they, they, they can even phantom eliminating Ed Galungu. They can even phantom eliminating Ed Galungu. But even, Ed, even if you eliminate Ed Galungu, in his death, Ed Galungu, Ed Galungu's favor will continue. Ed Galungu's favor will continue. Ed Galungu's spirit will continue. It won't stop. It will not keep Haka in the state house. It won't. It won't. So Ed Galungu in death will still be talking. The grace, the favor that is on Ed Galungu will still be moving in Zambia. You can't stop it. You can't stop Ed Galungu. Ed Galungu is unstoppable at this point in time. You can say whatever you want. Ed Galungu is unstoppable. Ed Galungu is the next president. The only thing is, are we going to do it democratically? Or we are going to use other means where people react. But people can only react if you don't use democratic means yourselves. If you yourselves use the court to frustrate this, you are going out of democracy. That case has been adjudicated upon a number of times. If you yourselves continue spreading the police officers, uh, stopping Edgar Lungu, putting Edgar Lungu like he, in, a, in a house arrest, that is undemocratic. If you yourselves uh, decide, you know, to bar Ed Galungu from contesting by whichever means you use, that is undemocratic. People might react. If you yourselves decide to eliminate Ed Galungu, that is not democratic. People will react. Whichever way you look at it, Ed Galungu is unstoppable. And you know, all these things I've spoken about, I've not even considered the 50% plus one. HH is gone. Because even if you, you, you talk about all these scenarios, you remove them. You think Haka in the HMA can get 50% plus one. You think Haka in the HMA can get 50% plus one. He can never get 50% plus one. So even in an ordinary situation where he has some little support, he can never get 50% plus one. And once he fails to get 50% plus one, Usually the opposition, even those who don't want, they come and rally behind the opposition. They can never go to Haka Inde Ichirima, especially Haka Inde Ichirima, who has even lost some of us. We went to, to him and he kicked us out. So how is he going to survive? He can never survive. Leaving the, the grace of Edgar Lumba and everything and everything, just putting 50% plus one there. Haka in the is gone. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.